Hello guys, this is Silver Fox A, and in this tutorial, I intend to share with you how you can rebuild Ning server with base speed on AWS. Now, you might have heard about Ning's web server and also Google base speed. You might have seen base speed inside for your performance, uh, other set of details, but Google base speed also has their own set of uh, code layer logic using which uh, it like which you can implement in the server side to kind of optimize your website performance now that helps you big time because that improves it probably let's say by 30% uh, or 40% with respect to the speed for this tutorial we'll be using uh, AWS and uh, we'll be utilizing one of our previously created instance uh, uh which is a t2 micro so it's free for a year <laughs> which we are utilizing to create this demo or the tutorial projects let's start off by connecting to the instance and i believe you know how to do that in case not i'll put a link to this uh, video to one of my previously created videos on how you can connect to aws ec2 instance i already have the pm key uh downloaded to my uh, directory and utilizing this SSH key to connect to the instance. Now, once you're within the instance, uh, like log in as a sudo user. So for that, utilize sudo space su to uh, interact as a sudo user there. And here, uh, I have the latest version of Nynx at this point. So it's 1.14.0, uh, which is running on Ubuntu. I'm just uh, adding this Nynx uh, repository package. Uh, using the above command what I'll do is I'll add all this set of command in my blog post which you can refer to while you are doing the same set of video key in the update command uh, so that if there's any update required for any set of package that will be updated now let's install Linux web server uh, by typing in the command see to get install and uh, links let it get installed and once that's done we'll 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 kind of add in base speed as in download it to a separate directory along with that uh if if you need anything else apart from that as a third party service you can do that to learn more about ning space speed what you can do is just type in ning underscore base speed and it will show you the git repository that they are maintaining <laughs> you'll probably say incubator base speed ning and along with that you'll see the uh, URL link that takes you to that particular directory or the website where uh, they have highlighted quite a decent amount of filters which you can utilize to optimize your uh, performance as in the website performance let's go back to the git repository and click on release so that you can download the latest version from their uh, portal and this is at this point uh, 1.13.35.2 is the stable one what we'll do is we'll copy the zip version and then run this command that is sudo wget and, and, and the url to that particular zip file once that's done we'll unzip it in case if you don't have the unzip uh, package install what you have to do is sudo apt-get install unzip or simply apt install unzip will do once uh, you have installed unzip what you, you can simply type in unzip and the file or uh, package name as in the uh, file name so that will take care of it that will unzip everything within this particular file okay once that's done let's get inside uh, the directory and we'll have to install uh, or download psol okay <clears throat> for that what you can do is uh, just and I know that particular file there PSOL binary URL it will give you that URL so that the uh, you need not be bugged which version of the PSOL uh, is compatible with this so all you do is just uh, get it from the nano file now here uh, there's some something called bit size name that's basically the architecture that you have to specify let's say for this I'm uh, utilizing 64 bit uh, framework uh, sorry architecture for my Ubuntu so what I'll do is I'll give x64 download the file and unzip it either with the uh, unzip if it's a zip file and a tar if it's a tar uh, file now we're going to get the links package from PPA uh, repository we'll have to adjust them and reveal them to get a newer version of links with base bit in it or also if you want some third-party uh, library to be installed that also you can do 
like once that is done we'll install it and then reveal the link server completely uh, which will have our PSP uh, module in that so in order for us to do that what you have to do is we have to edit the PPA source files and and to, we, we have to ensure that there's no comment in the dev source uh, line this line in it. okay now for us to do that what you have to do is you have to go to uh, this etc slash app and so source dot list dot d okay once you're there you'll be able to see something called links uh, uh, open to stable bionic list uh, that will have a dot placed extension there you just uh, uncomment the depth source uh, line once done just update your ubuntu this will help us to get the source file of links now type in sudo apt-get install and uh, we'll, we'll install our dev package uh, dev the package dev that's basically um, install package creation tool so we'll be able to create or rebuild our own links uh, package out of the source files now create a separate directory uh, to rebuild links so let's say create rebuild links as a directory here go into that and we'll get the source file of links to do that see to have to get source and links that will uh, get the source file of the links uh, uh, web server okay once that's done if you, if you just ls that will show you all the files that has been uh, stored there now we'll uh, install or also get all the build dependencies for links i had to speed up just to get the time out of it now all the dependencies has been added and uh, we, we we can go about uh, changing or adding the psp package uh, to the links uh, source code so to do that let's go to the uh, source file okay and then go to debian see okay once there you just go to rules that's on the right hand side here <coughs> okay just nano this rules uh, file that will show you something called full path full path is basically getting everything a lighter version will have uh, less features and something of the sort okay go to the one that says full configuration file flags this one okay go down uh as per this the, okay before that let's just give the file path to our page speed directory or page speed file and i think incubator it's okay yeah this is a stupid process but this uh, just to get the file path okay let's go back to Google links and then links and to that we have to go to debian and to go to nano rules scroll down to full path basically full configuration flags and then okay what you have to do is here if you want to add new modules just append uh, uh, slash forward slash with the space of course and then type to hyphen add hyphen module equals to and the file path that will take care of it so just save this file and what you'll do is we'll go to the uh, Root, root directory of links and we'll rebuild the package so this will do a bit of validation if the required dependencies are available if everything goes well okay so we got an error stating uh module links page requires page speed optimization library okay so i googled a bit and then found on github stating that uh we have for this error to go away we have to install uh, UUID dev that will take care of uh, this error and after installing this you can uh, rebuild like give the give the same uh, what do you say the command that will take care of building process that might take certain amount of time probably less than five to six minutes max once that's done it will uh, give you a lot of uh, source files in the root directory uh, as in the rebuild uh, directory so you can see a number of them you have to look for the one that says full because we, we want all the features uh, the links has to offer not the lighter version and and there's one more that is called deb uh, you might see deb in it 
that's basically for the development uh, uh, or the de debugging mode so we'll go for the nings full <coughs> and we don't want a development or debugging mode rather we want the stable version or the compiled one uh, purely we'll go for that and uh, hit enter so i am on 64 bit architecture so i have utilized the 64 bit ones it will take care of building links once done <coughs> just just for us to check if base speed is working first thing we'll do is we'll just create a cast directory and then put put a server block in the http or the links config file that will ensure that all the uh, server config file has the page speed available for them So when that paste this particular layer uh, That says page speed enabled on equals to enable and then we are providing a cache file path So that we have created and along with that we have added few filters now filters You can uh, collapse in one line all go with a comma separation Also, you can have in numbers uh, of lines now uh, you can get this setup what we'll do is we'll just go to our uh, uh, e e file uh, basically the website i just wanted to show you what's the difference of having a page speed within your uh, portal now if you see the code base there has a, a lot of empty spaces what we'll do is we'll, we'll try to discard all the white spaces from that and as the code base is really small i can't show uh, other other more, um, features but what you can do is you can try and see which one works for you works for you as in with respect to optimizing your website okay now let me see once Okay. Now, in, in case if you want a, a special uh, base bit configuration for other other blocks, let's say for one you don't want it, so you have to go to the uh, specific one where you want to add the base bit configurations. For that, you go to the sites available that you have within your uh, sites configs and add the same layers. <coughs> let's say uh, for me the default one, I I, I want. Uh, the default ones to have the page speed I, I don't want anything else to, to be utilizing the page speed features now if you go to the page speed uh, website that i have shown you in the earlier version of the uh, video you'll see a number of other feature filters that they provide so if you just click on one of these that will show you both apache version and the links for us we're working with links let's say copy the links version <coughs> and just paste it below page speed on because you have to ensure that the a speed is enabled uh, before you even utilize it now let's say i don't want the javascript one to be there uh, just restart your link server you can do a test if you require so you will, uh, restart go to the page and just refresh so you'll see all the white spaces have been collapsed if you liked what you just saw or it is helpful for you in a manner please do subscribe and keep following for more of this content that will help me um or probably that will encourage me to create more of videos